Thank you for taking time to watch this video. I want to talk to you about the first year of Birmingham and Solihull Clinical Commissioning Group. Um, we came into being April the 1st of last year and uh, we're really pleased with the progress that we've made. The first thing I have to say is, is thank you to all of my colleagues here who work with me that put this organisation together. At the time at which we were created we were, in fact still are, the largest organisation of its type in England. We have a budget of nearly £2 billion and we're responsible for the health care of over 1.3 million people on a day-to-day -day basis. In this past year we've done more though than just create our organisation. We've put in place uh, a new strategy in terms of our work around children which is integrated right across the, the sector of health care and education. And we've also added uh, a lot of additional resource into our primary care facilities, our family doctors, our GPs, the ability to provide more appointments across uh, a greater period of, of the week, particularly into the evenings and weekends. And we've rolled that out across 100% of the, uh, the, the, the area that, we, that we're responsible for. So we're really proud of that achievement too. Last year was the 70th um, anniversary of the NHS and we celebrated that as part of our annual general meeting and, and other events we held uh, last year. Just to say thank you to all of our colleagues who work in the service, particularly in our part of the world. Looking forward to the current year and to the new financial year which begins on uh, April 1st, um, we're looking forward to implementing the NHS long term plan. In particular, the thing I think that most excites us about that is the creation of the new primary care networks. We were already working on that kind of approach because we think with 1.3 million people to look after, we can't do it all in one go, as it were. We need to, to have localities that we focus on. We need to uh, pay attention and provide care in ways that are culturally sensitive, for instance, in different parts of the city. In some parts of our city or in Solihull, we have lots of older people. In other parts, we have almost none at all. We have to focus on children's services. So we always knew we needed to take a, a local approach and the emphasis in the long-term plan on creating primary care networks, communities of 30 to 50,000 people, is absolutely ideal, we believe, in terms of delivering our, our strategy. What are we going to be focusing on next year? Well, we need to do more and better around our children's services. In particular, uh, Birmingham has long had well-publicised issues uh, around the quality of the services we provide for children, particularly in health and social care. And we think we're really starting to show the, the green shoots of improvement there and hopefully one day we'll be as good as the Birmingham Children's Hospital which has been rated as, uh, as outstanding for its services. We need to do more around um, our work around cancer to ensure that we meet the targets for, for treatment and, and for care uh, for those and we need to make sure that we have a, um, a more immediate and responsive service to people at a time of such critical and crucial personal need. And I think, I think finally what I would say is we need to be working harder, we shall work harder and faster towards creating what we call an integrated care system. So one where health and social care, local government and the NHS are working much more closely together to ensure that our, see, our services are as, um, as seamless as possible but also that we make the most efficient use of resources that we possibly can. So finally then, let me just finish by saying thank you to all of my colleagues in, in health and care who are working across Birmingham and Solihull to make a difference every day to people's lives. Thank you.